Welcome back boys and girls. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to make eyebrows in Blender. Now, all I've done is duplicated uh, some parts of the face mesh to make the eyebrows. So I'm going to hide what I use as reference so we can actually get started on the eyebrows. So one thing is that people always do something when they're making eyebrows. They just add particles and clear out some parts in the shape of an eyebrow and that is it this is not an eyebrow believe me this looks horrible all right so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can actually do it now please do not mind the fact that this part is sped up because it is almost uh irrelevant just me being pedantic about how i position the eyebrows so i just add uh, a basic particle system and just reduce the lens to how i see fit And I did I clear all the particles by inserting zero and with the particle edit and in particle edit mode rather we go in and start adding particles where we think they should be. So I know this process seems pretty uh, stressful, but using the default particles just seems a little more random and i actually like having the particles controlled so you can do this if you wish if you don't you can leave the particles on by default and delete the parts that you wish to remove all right now let's go into the actual part of this video now this can be the most important part of this video so please pay attention so now with the eyebrows we need to understand how the eyebrows flow all right so the eyebrows go in a particular direction, which you see me uh, drawing right about now. And you can see in the reference as well. So it's going from the front towards uh, somewhat upwards and then coming back down. All right, so you can see my uh, directions of the eyebrow as I proceed. Okay, so now having the directions down is a lot, but it isn't much to go on. Uh, we also need to understand where the eyebrow is dense and where it is less dense. All right, so the red spots I use now the parts I paint in red are the parts where the density uh, ought to be very high and green is where the density is not as high. That's the least amount of density and this blue signifies something in the middle. All right. And if you look, you can see my reference that I'm using to sort of gauge the art there is by Nazar. I cannot pronounce his last name. So if you know him. Uh, he's pretty popular, NASA. So that is basically it, and we can go ahead and continue making the eyebrow particles. Now we just want to follow uh, the direction we have already set and I'm just combing all this up so that we can affect the length. That's with the grow or shrink brush. And we can comb it in the direction we wish, we wish which was up and then everything curves back down. And I'm just using my reference to gauge 
to see uh, if we are going the correct direction. And you can disable show emitter so we don't get distracted by the basic uh, mesh there. So I'm just adding some more particles to fill up some gaps and just allowing them continue in the same direction. Now with the snapping turned on, sometimes this works, sometimes it does not. But with snapping turned on, we can uh, just hit G and the uh, particles can snap to the faces. Like in this case, it didn't work as well. But most often than none, it does work for me. But if it doesn't, you can just go from top view and try to uh, comb the particles down. I'm just increasing the strand steps so that we have more smooth particles. And I'm using the smooth tool to just smooth everything out. And we're just keeping our direction in mind here. So you can see the places with higher density have uh, more particles, but I think we should add more because uh, as we proceed, you see that it looks better when uh, there are a lot of particles there and all the particles sort of end at that point instead of begin there. Now we can go ahead and add children and we can use the simple option. And I'm just trying to show what interpolated looks like. But well, most but you uh, most likely use the simple. I want to add some roughness and just reduce the threshold to signify what part what part of uh, the eyebrow gets the roughness. I'm going to move on to the okay, going back into particle edit mode. And if you can't see your children, just hit N on your numpad and in the tool settings, you see children. Just click children and it should appear. I'm just going to add some more particles because after adding children, I realized that they are not enough. And now, with a little trial and error, we should be able to come up with the result we like. And so we can just increase the length of some particles. You can make this as random as you wish, but I technically like my eyebrows looking more, not uniform, but at least in some orderly fashion. Now this whole process is basically uh, something simple and you can see I'm moving some strands by disabling the preserve at root position or preserve root position, we can move the strands as much as we wish. Okay, now this process is uh, sort of what takes a lot of the time because positioning them is very difficult. So I just turned on the, change the hair, hair type. Now this will look better and render and look more realistic but this is if you're going to use cycles i'm going to use eevee for the final render but if you're going to use cycles you still have to change the hair shape either way so this is actually still good for you and now the reason i'm not showing this character in full if you have noticed is because uh she is not complete and i have not officially released her so this is sort of a sneak peek, sneak peek at what she will look like. Well, uh, this, I can't actually show her in full. 
and if you want to see the actual character when she's done do you can subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications or you can go on instagram and find me i am at king underscore denzel dot 3d and you can follow me on instagram and so that you can see when i post her all right back to the video um so we just added some more particles because after looking in render view, it looks sort of uh, patchy, like the particles aren't enough. So it's about a lot of trial and error at this point. I think the meaty, gritty part of the video has been covered where we talk about uh, the basic, what I say, physiology or anatomy of the eyebrow, how it flows and which part has more density and which part is less dense okay so basically we're just editing the particles and this is very painstaking and takes a lot of time and that extra one at the front i actually enjoy doing it but i doubt most people have it but it just looks better in my opinion when i have one extra one just hanging in there just adds a bit of variation to the whole thing. And now I'm just adjusting the eyelashes. <laughs> if you want to see the eye, how to make the eyelash, uh, I will be releasing another video on that. So you can check, uh, check the channel and see if I have released the video already. And if not, just subscribe and turn on notifications because I will drop the video as soon as I drop this one. All right, we are looking pretty good at this point. So I'll change it back to strand so that we can have a uh, faster or a better understanding of what it will look like. Right, as you can see, everything we said does happen. Uh, the red has a denser part. As you can see, the green is not so dense. And I know it seems like the uh, back end looks dense, but Believe me, it's not as dense. It's just because most of the particles from the dense part meet down there. So it looks uh, denser than it should. But technically, that's how it should look. So there is no problem. Now we can go on to clump. Now I'm using a clump curve because the normal clump, uh, as much as it looks good, I think it doesn't quite do the job. So I add my own clump curve and you can just see the difference. It's a little, but in my opinion, it's more effective. All right, I think this is this has been a pretty long walkthrough. So if you are enjoying this video, do well to uh, drop a like and click subscribe if you wish to support this channel. And I'm just showing you some extra references that I used. I did not use one particular reference. I had others there. So as you can see, beautiful eyebrows, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.